What is fear? Most would describe it as the seconds before the roller coaster traverses over that first hill, and all the potential of today shakes hands with the realization that whatever comes next is inevitable. When you're too far along the tracks to ask to stop the ride, when you're no longer sure if your next yelp comes from terror or whimsy, not like it was voluntary regardless. I have no fear of amusement parks. Any safety related concerns are assuaged by the knowledge that even if something was to go wrong, it would be over before I could feel it. I haven't felt fear in a long time. At least not in photography. It used to come to me whenever I stepped out the front door with my camera. Never certain what people would think of me when they saw a camera in my hand. Would they approach me and ask questions? Would I have to muster the courage to be social with strangers? The idea alone drowned the underarms of my shirt in nervous sweats. But that was when I was younger, so I don't really share that terror any longer. I like to contribute that change of confidence to growing up, when in reality, it probably has more to do with familiarity. It makes little sense to perseverance when you have butterflies in your stomach when you're doing something the hundredth time, right? I haven't felt fear in a long time, at least not in photography. Not until I bought a Rollei 35 SE. I've been shooting 35mm film on and off since 2017. It's the more hobby side of my overall hobby of photography. I was used to keeping my Minolta X700 in my car and occasionally breaking it out when I wanted a focal length that I didn't have for my digital camera. My camera was often strictly confined to my car though, as it was often cumbersome to carry two SLRs, even for short hikes. So as my knowledge with film grew, I found myself shooting it less often. I needed something pocketable. Even if I had another digital camera on my side back already, the Rollei 35 SE was the first camera that I could find that matched my needs. Smaller than even my Fujifilm X70, the Rollei 35 SE is a full manual 35mm camera equipped with a 40mm f2.8 size sonar lens. That's so what the S and SE stands for. Sonar. There's also the Rollei 35 TE, it was equipped with a 40mm f3.5 Tessar lens, which I've read renders black and white negatives with better contrast. I don't often shoot black and white film, and the SE was the cheapest operational roller I could find at the time in black, and you know how that goes. For history and legacy's sake, there are other models of the Rollei 35 for different budgets with different technologies that were made in even different production locations. I, however, am technically a millennial, and ignoring legacies and ruining industries is in my skinny jeans. The model I have was made in Singapore, and that supposedly makes it inherently less valuable to old men I'll never meet, for very specific reasons they have that I'll never care about. Oh well. The Rollei packs a suite of full manual controls, up to the point where you can physically see the gears and the shutter speed move as you change them. All this is packed in a body barely larger than a traditional canister of 35mm film. And just like the Pentax I don't want in, this camera sacrifices a bit of functionality in exchange of portability. Goodbye through the lens viewfinder, hello parallax distortion, and hello zone focus. Fear for me manifests in an area of my mind where unfamiliarity intersects with risk. Photographing things on digital captures the essence of unfamiliarity, but with the ability to quickly review what I've taken, so there's little risk. Oops, I just delete and recapture an adjustment to settings. I don't have that luxury on film. I make a mistake, I won't know until I get my entire roll back. Money wasted. The Rollei 35 SE relies solely on the twist of the lens and the diagram on it for focusing. Stepping into this for the first time made me feel something I've never felt before in photography. Doubt. What if every photo I take is out of focus and terrible? Not only do I have little confidence in my ability to focus, I also have no way to properly judge exposure. See, while the S in the title of the camera stands for the lens type, the E stands for how it gauges light. The E is for the electronics and the built-in light meter in the camera. 
From what I understand, the light meter runs off a battery made out of a material that was deemed unsafe for humans many years ago. The only way to use the meter now is by buying an adapter for modern batteries, which may still be finicky depending on the voltage. The meter will then judge your exposure via a red or green light in the viewfinder, or so I've read. I have no patience to wait for an adapter to be mailed to me, and the roll eye works fully without batteries anyway. So armed with the Sunny 16 rule, and 20 minutes of practice, I embarked into the world with fear in my stomach. I should learn to listen to fear less often. Even the second thoughts I had in my head turned out to be good judgment calls. I guess that's the other side of fear. Patience. On the outside looking in, all the half steps and uncertain hesitations can look like good concentration. I no longer feel doubt when I shoot the Roll i 35 SE. I've replaced the uncertainty and fear with experience. It transformed it into something better. Into patience. What's another second judgment to a film photo anyway? It's already the medium that's been beat to death with the bromide. Slow down and enjoy the shot. And there's never been a reward larger than receiving my film back and all my photos turned out exactly how I wanted them to.